Dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Biozi Classes. Today we are going to discuss about the Corona Virus. First of all, my dear friends, let me bring to the kind notice of all the viewers that today we are very much worried, especially about how to in fact prevent this disease. First thing what I need to mention here is that follow the precautionary measures put forth by the World Health Organization in the prevention of this disease. So, today we are going to discuss about the history behind this coronavirus, the different types of coronavirus, symptoms associated with coronavirus and also we are going to discuss few important aspects pertaining to the global spread of this disease. Here, dear friends, Corona basically indicates the protrusions which we can find on the surface of this virus. These protrusions when observed under the electron microscope are similar to the emperor's crown, hence the name Corona virus. My dear friends, this virus is almost similar to the other different types of viruses bearing the, the glycoprotein spike, the what I can say, the nucleoprotein or RNA and other structures. Now, this uh, newly discovered uh, the coronavirus, in fact in China, uh, that is what we term it to as the Wuhan coronavirus or the Wuhan pneumonia or in fact COVID-19, why novel coronavirus, why this is uh, in fact today it is a cause for concern, we are going to discuss that most importantly. Before that, let me also tell you this coronavirus infects uh, not only humans, in fact it infects many different animals like cat, dogs and hedgehogs. Hedgehogs here basically indicates the spiny mammals, pigs, birds and also alongside uh, you know the human beings. This coronavirus in fact, is a, what I can say, cause for concern, I believe, you also believe. But let me tell you before that, why it is so? Because today we don't have the proper treatment available for this uh, novel coronavirus. In fact, so many antiviral uh, treatments are given just for alleviating the symptoms of the disease, but not to give the proper uh, exact treatment. My dear friends, let me tell you, this disease, in fact, causes uh, the respiratory failure, that is, uh, that is the cause for concern when during the severe cases, during the, what I can say, chronic uh, conditions uh, among the suspected individuals and also, what I can say, infected uh, people. Now, let me tell you, my dear friend, this coronavirus, you know, are, you know, in fact, the, what I can say, having, uh, let me tell you which family it belongs to, which order it belongs to, what are the different genera of this coronavirus. It belongs to the family Coronaviridae and to the order Nidovirales. So, they have, they have four different types of genera, alpha, beta, gamma and delta coronavirus. Alpha and uh, beta coronavirus generally infects the mammals. Gamma coronavirus generally infects the avian uh, animals or the birds. And delta coronavirus basically, you know, infects both the mammals as well as the birds. Now, further, let me say the types of uh, you know, coronavirus, few of the important types which have been, in fact, uh, uh, having detailed uh, description, let me tell you my dear friends. First, uh, let me tell you, we have human coronavirus OC43. Then we also have, what I can say, Haven coronavirus. We have SARS coronavirus. Severe acute respiratory syndrome related coronavirus. We have MERS coronavirus, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, coronavirus and uh, in fact many other types. So now which is discovered is called as COVID-19 or novel coronavirus or Wuhan pneumonia. Now see this uh, COVID-19 bears similarity to the COVID, uh, what I can say the SARS-CoV. Why? Because it was in fact observed in the year 2002 and uh, 3 and it was observed in the South China, lasted for around 9 months. 
this shows the same respiratory problems when compared to the covid 19 this had a fatality rate of approximately 10 percent mers had in fact a fatality rate of 36 percent covid 19 has fatality rate around 2 percent or less than that the recent statistics uh, uh, now, you know, in fact, with respect to many researchers, says, and further, my dear friends, let me also tell you the symptoms associated with this coronavirus. Basically, the person infected with this virus will have dry cough, shortness of breath, and the respiratory distress. In severe cases, he may also show what I can say the uh, breakdown of uh, lungs, especially uh, by the pneumonia. Pneumonia already we know the. Uh, lungs get inflamed, uh, filled with the pus or the fluid and also in uh, severe cases kidney failures uh, are seen. So these are few symptoms which are associated with the, the what I can say the novel coronavirus or the COVID-19. My dear friends, so apart from this let me also tell you the what are the important preventive measures which we need to follow to prevent uh, this disease. Especially Please, my dear friends, follow the, in fact, uh, the preventive measures of World Health Organizations. Definitely, we can, uh, you know, prevent this disease for sure. So, firstly, you know, have washing the hands uh, thoroughly with uh, what I can say soap or hand wash. Secondly, wearing mask. In fact, uh, the mask should be regularly, in fact, uh, uh, you know, changed uh, approximately for around one or two days. A uh, new mask uh, should be changed. And, uh, uh, and also avoid the close contact with the uh, suspected uh, individuals uh, having coronavirus and maintain distance uh, of uh, you know persons uh, you know infected with respiratory uh, what I can say disorders respiratory distress say uh, they are uh, sneezing and coughing when it releases the droplets definitely uh, the chances are there that it may enter the healthy person uh, through the mouth, nose or eye and it definitely uh, you know, uh, cause the coronavirus. And also utensils, uh, you know, when they are, they are kept around the house, uh, you know, having uh, infected people, especially try to avoid, uh, you know, those utensils, follow the strict regulations. This, uh, you know, coronavirus, uh, you know, to 12 to 24 hours is the, in fact, uh, you know, lifespan of this coronavirus, depending on the environment where it survives. So these are few important aspects pertaining to the preventive measures which we need to follow. My dear friends, what is the global spread of this disease? You know, we, we see today that apart from the Wuhan city, it has spread to Dubai province and also to Pakistan and also many cases have seen, many people are infected and uh, fatalities are also seen but not as much, uh, you know, say we can find as of now today three or five uh, fatalities. So apart from that, you know, Iran, Italy and many, you know, in fact, even in India, first case was reported in Kerala and uh, in fact, many uh, 2,000 to 3,000 individuals have been kept under observation. So these are the few important aspects which I just wanted to bring uh, to your kind notice in the short discussion today. Please uh, like, subscribe and uh, hit a bell icon for my YouTube channel, BioZ Classes. Thank you very much.